Hello Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So let's get into this great tools for you guys, ancestors, higher beings, this reading is a lot of this reading for cancer. Show me clear and honest this is for cancer. Okay, so if you're coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. Okay, let's see, Spirit. How does this person feel about cancer? That Eight of Swords was trying to come out, but we'll see. Okay, so we are getting the tower. So something big has happened here. Um, cancer, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. There's been some sort of big shift here. Things are not the same after whatever this is. Tell me about the tower. We got the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Cups. So, I mean, when the tower and the Wheel of Fortune come out together, it's like a necessary, I mean, it's always a necessary change with the tower, but it's like, it's divine timing. It was supposed to happen like this. The luck is changing. Things are changing here. I feel like there's someone here, Cancer, who um, has a lot of regrets about what has happened between the two of you. I will pull on that Five of Cups. There's a lot of ruminating on the past, a lot of like shoulda, coulda, woulda energy. Um, but at the same time, whatever this change was, it needed to happen in order for this new cycle to begin here. So, you know, I always say with the tower, it's like building a house on sand. It's it's not going to work. Like it could work for a little bit and then eventually the, the foundation falls apart because it's not meant to last. So whatever this was, it could have been an argument, it could have been a separation, it could have been something was said or done. It needed to happen here. But I do feel like this person, um, they're ruminating quite a, quite a lot on the past. This card can also represent depression. So this person could be, you know, in a really low mood, could be feeling really irritable. There could be mood swings going on. Um, and, you know, I feel like this is something that this person has been uh, dealing with for a very long time so even if it's a if it if what has gone on between the two of you cancer has brought this on this is something that this person has been dealing with for their for, I want I want to say their life um, but let's pull on that five of cups and see what comes out here tell me about the five of cups thank you we have the four of pentacles and the six of swords yeah this person is not letting you go um, oh yeah oh wow Look at what's on the bottom here. We'll see if this comes out. This person knows that you are it here, Cancer, but whatever, I'm going to pull on that tower. It will be different for all of you, but this person's not letting you go. They want to move to a better space here. Thank you, Spirits. It's also telling me you have four, five, six. So things are lining up exactly as they're supposed to. It doesn't surprise me with that Wheel of Fortune. You came into this person's life exactly when you were supposed to. Whatever has gone on between the two of you is happening exactly as it's supposed to. Sometimes the tower can feel really scary. The tower can feel like there's no coming back from it, when in reality, it's, it's almost like it, it, a big storm coming and sort of uh, causing destruction. But when you rebuild, it's even better than it was before. That's how it's coming across. So this person wants to move to a better place here with you. They're not letting you go. They hold you really close to their heart, actually, here at Cancer. Um, but, but they are having regrets here and they are kind of in this very low mood. Like it almost feels like if it was a cartoon, it's like this person kind of has like a dark cloud following them around right now. Um, they're going through it for sure. Um, but again, things are happening exactly as they're supposed to. So look out for that synchronicity, four, five, six. Um, but let's see, the tell me about the tower. Again, it will be different for all of you, but, and there's that eight of swords that was trying to come out. So. I feel like what has happened here is that 
if there were some sort of self-limiting beliefs here around the connection, around what could have happened, something was said or done that has shattered that. Like this person truly believes that you are meant to be in their life, but they have a lot of regrets for how they managed this connection and how they interacted with you in the past here. So I feel like this person actually has a lot of insecurities here. There's a lot that goes on in this person's mind that they don't share. Um, but something has come to light here. That's shifting here. Um, anything else about that tower? The seven of pentacles. This, now you're getting seven, eight. So sorry, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. So things are really lining up. Like I said, whatever happened here was meant to happen here, Cancer. Um, so this person wants to invest and I feel like that could have been what was the issue before. Perhaps you were unsure if they wanted to invest in this connection, if they were here for the long run, if, um, you know, yeah, it just, it just feels like perhaps the way they interacted with you felt like that you weren't sure they were unsure. I'm getting like seven cups of seven, seven of cups energy. Like there was a lot of confusion. This person has regrets about making you confused, but whatever has happened between the two of you here has like really shifted their mindset here um and they want to move to a better place here with you so they're asking me to pull on the wheel tell me about the wheel thank you yeah they want to work on this so this could have been someone who wasn't putting in the effort to make this work who wasn't showing you that they uh cared about this and cared about this connection um this person wants to get to work now they want to show you. And you're getting two eights now as well. So look out for eight, eight. But like I said, you have four, five, six, seven, eight. So things are happening exactly as they're supposed to. Um, but this person wants to show you. They want to put in the work. You could work with this person. Doesn't have to be though. Um, but I also feel like career-wise, this person is really focused on that as well. They're, they're mastering something in their career. Um, only take that if it resonates, but yeah, they want to work on this connection here. Let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. So they could be a Scorpio. They could also be um, an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have a little bit of air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but let's see, what actions will this person take towards Cancer? Like I said, two to four weeks, could be a little less, could be a little more. Getting the Four of Swords. Six of Wands. So now you're getting, four, yeah, four four as well. There's a lot of synchronicities here. Six six. Um, tell me more. This person wants victory here with you. The Devil. Tell me about the Devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Tell me about the Devil. The Ace of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. The Star. This is someone who um, uses uh, physical connection for intimacy. This is someone who um, could try and like make up through, you know, getting jumping into bed, which that that can be a way of making up, right? Physical connection and that intimacy is important. Um, but I feel like this person kind of lacks in the communication era. Uh, I feel like they they don't like to talk is what I'm getting. This person knows this though. This person is very attracted to you. I'll say that. Here's the thing. I feel like they're aware of this. So this could have been someone who, you know, if you did have arguments or if you did, things did go south, um, they were quick to kind of, you know, again, physically make up for it, but not always have that conversation because they, I do see them staying quiet here right? Um, this person could, could get a lot of attention from other people. They could be very physically attractive. I, I'm even getting like, they could, uh, you, you know, be someone who, who goes to the gym a lot or who works out a lot, maybe an athlete of some sort. Um, so they feel like it, what, how it's coming across is they feel like their physical, uh, like assets, I guess, or attributes are kind of all they have to offer. I feel like this person has really low self-esteem with that eight of swords. But here's the thing, this person wants a new beginning here with you. They want to take things slow and they do want to heal this. But I will say that this kind of energy, uh, I mean, we're going to see their intentions of not really talking and just kind of like making up in that way. And then, you know, kind of going about their business and your business, like nothing really happened. 
that's not working for you cancer and i feel like they know this um so they do want to heal this here with you you're getting aquarius energy here tell me about the star they want to take things slow yeah look at that the ten of pentacles this person wants you they want long term here with you like they they know that they can't just do what they're doing and and not have a conversation but it, it might take a long time for this person to come forward here and say what they need to say so this person can even tell you, you know, I want to take things slow. I do want to build with you, but, uh, you know, let's, they, they're not the type of person to sit down and talk about what happened or talk about their feelings for hours and hours and hours. And cancer, especially as a water sign, I feel like you're very in tune with your emotions. So this might be something that comes very naturally to you, whereas this person is more like a doer, more like they'll show you and their actions, and especially physically, I feel, um, but in reality, this person does want long term here with you. Like they are hopeful that the two of you can can work past this and and work towards having this long term building together, having a life together. Um, <clears throat> I also do feel like this person could be like they're kind of one of those people that hides behind material things as well. Like if they're working really hard at work, they feel like you know it's it's remind me of that movie Soul on Disney where and i'm not trying to give anything away but the character is like constantly chasing after this dream throughout the movie right to come to realize that that's not what's important in life right because once you get to that dream it can kind of feel like well now what and so this person i feel could be chasing um like a material or the financial goal here and they kind of feel like okay once i get there that's when i'll feel better that's when i'll feel like i have more to offer cancer but that's not what this is about. And I feel like Cancer, you're again, very in tune with your emotions, but this person, there's no cups on the board. Like I feel like this person avoids their emotions here. Um, yeah, it's like, it's like a blockage here, but they do want long-term here with you. Anything else about that devil? Thank you. We have the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Hmm. It's almost like this person feels like what has happened is too, like there's too much has happened. They feel like walking away would just be better at times. You are getting 10-10 as well. This person doesn't feel worthy is what I'm getting here, Cancer. This person doesn't feel worthy of the connection, of your love, of your care. This again goes back way before you're even in the picture. Anything else about that devil? Thank you. The king of wands, like I'm saying, I feel like this person feels like all they have to offer is their physical, I feel like this person's very attractive. They could have, again, worked very hard to get where they are physically, like if they're an athlete or they work out a lot or what have you, this, feel like, this person feels like that's all they have to offer here. So I do feel like there is a fear that this is just like, it's, it's come to an end. You know, maybe I should just walk up. We're going to see their intentions because I mean, this person, they want long-term, they want to work towards this. They want, you know, they know it could take some time here, but they're hopeful. But then their fear here is like, their fear tells them you're only good because of your physical and because you're good looking or because what have you, that's all you can offer. Um, or maybe you're good in bed or what have you. Like this person doesn't think that there's anything else about them to offer here. Where in, in reality, Cancer, I feel like you feel like there's so much more to this person, but they, they can't see it. Tell me about the Four Swords. Thank you. The Empress. They can't stop thinking about you. Look at that, that Ten of Cups at the bottom again. They can't stop thinking about you. Taurus Energy. They know you're it. And this is why I feel like they don't feel like they have much to offer because they see you as this empress. Doesn't mean you have to be a female. We all have masculine and feminine energy. But this person sees you as the be all end all. There's no better than you. I feel like they are, it, there's like an intimidation factor here, Cancer. 
especially if there's like a financial difference, maybe this person feels intimidated by where you're at in your career. I feel like they're intimidated by your looks. I feel like they're intimidated by the fact that you're very emotionally aware and, and your communication skills. Like these are all things that this person admires about you, but they're also intimidated by it and they don't feel good enough. This person can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about how they're not enough. So they might for this next little bit here, Cancer, just like take their time to think about things. They're, you're on their mind nonstop. They, they, there's a huge part of them that wants to heal this and wants long term here with you. They know it'll take some time to get there, but there's another part of them that's like maybe like screw it. Maybe I should just walk away. I'm not good enough anyway. So it could go either way here, but let's see their intentions. I do feel like I need to go to the other deck, so I will. Usually when this happens, there's cards on the board that need to come out again. But I mean, you have a lot of synchronicities here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You have six, six, eight, eight, four, four, ten, ten. Like this person's meant to be in your life. And with that Wheel of Fortune, it doesn't surprise me. This is a faded connection. You're supposed to meet each other. And when these types of connections come in, it's usually to help us, you know, evolve, to grow in some way, to understand ourselves better. Um, but let's see, what is this person's intentions with Cancer? There's that devil card again, Capricorn energy. Tell me more. The magician, Aries energy. That's very manipulative energy here. Back and forth. I feel like this person likes to, to keep you wondering. I feel like they like to keep you um, guessing here. It's almost like the more they pull away and the more you chase, the more they feel validated, the more they feel like they are good enough because you're you're chasing after them, right? This person, I feel, this is this blockage. This is this not feeling good enough here. Tell me more. The Nine of Cups, like you are their wish fulfillment here. Temperance, wow. I always say with the devil and temperance, Sagittarius energy, it's like the devil and the angel on your shoulder. Right, like this, like I said, it's like there's two parts to this person. Like it's like they're, they can be very. I feel manipulative here with this magician and this devil. I feel like they can be someone who does things on purpose to see how you'll react here. Like five of swords energy, but then there's this other side of this person who's like, I want to be patient. I want to compromise. I want to do this here with Cancer because they are my wish fulfillment. But it's like this back and forth. So I feel like you could get even both sides of this person. I mean, stereotypically speaking, maybe they're a Gemini, right? Um, Gemini energy isn't heavily coming through here, but you know, anyway, um, I just feel like there's two sides to this person. So you might even feel like they're very wishy-washy with you, like they're in and out. This is their intention. It's like they, in order to address this blockage and overcome it, you have to acknowledge that it exists in the first place. You can't change what you don't know needs to be changed. And I do feel like you have said or done something that makes them aware of this. But this type of blockage is something that it doesn't change overnight. It's not something that just happens. It's something that you have to work at consistent, consistently. And this person knows this here. I'm also getting cancer. This person's like very obsessed with you. Look at that. The wheel and the empress again on the bottom. This person yeah they're very obsessed so they kind of are doing this back and forth here kind of the same energy coming through for their actions like it's like part of them wants to just take things slow work on this the other part of them is like oh maybe i'll just walk away then there could even be another part that's like let's just be you know physical friends meanwhile all they're thinking about is how you how they don't even know how they got you in the first place here let's see the potential outcome what's the potential outcome between cancer and this person what is the potential outcome <coughs> excuse me <coughs> wow that came out of nowhere excuse me we have the five of wands we have the Three of Cups, we have the Lovers, there's that Gemini energy, and we have the Hermit. There's tension, there's fighting here. There's drama. I feel like, here's the thing, the two, like, the two of you are so drawn to each other with that Lovers card. 
right? There's an undeniable connection here. I feel like this person loves you. I feel like they are, like I said, there's like a bit of an obsession here. But I feel like the way this person handles their energy and gives you energy, like it's, it's hot and cold. I'm surprised the Knight of Wands hasn't come out. This person just wants to keep it lighthearted with this Three of Cups. They just, they, they'll say things like, I just want to have fun with you. I don't, like, why does it have to be so serious all the time? Why do we always have to talk about the serious stuff? And even if when you try to like be like, okay, fine, like let's just not talk about the serious stuff. It's like, they'll still continue, continue to do things that cause this fighting, cause this tension between the two of you. And then this could even result in you or them or both of you just kind of like retreating here with that hermit energy, Virgo energy. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Me with the five of wands please thank you that they hold back right but at the same time they won't let you go that's frustrating that's super frustrating anything else about the potential outcome wow Ooh, wow we have the sun we have the two of cups and we have the queen of swords so i feel like eventually here this person is gonna straight up tell you like yeah you are it you make me so happy um, this is it for me, but I, it doesn't feel, it feels like, I have to be honest with you. I feel like this takes some time here, cancer, because there's so much love here. You have the lovers and the two of cups. This is for sure a soulmate. This is for sure someone you're meant to meet. This is a divine connection that, you know, again, the, the two of you are, are here to help each other evolve in some way. There's so much love here. There's so much passion. There's so much, like there's a deep, deep bond here. There's so much happiness. There's so much joy. We have Leo energy here. Um, I do feel like eventually this person will just, but the way that they communicate how they feel comes off like very matter of fact. Like the, this person isn't a gushy person. Like I said, there's no cups on the board. So even though this person feels this way, you have the 10 of pentacles, you have the nine of cups, the sun, the two of cups, the lovers, like even though all this beautiful energy is here, this person can still come off like kind of cold, um, very direct, very like straightforward. Uh, it's hard to read them at times. I mean, there's, they'll say what they need to say, but it comes off like, what, like <laughs> it's almost like, no, I don't wanna say robotic, but I'll say it robotic a little bit. So there is potential here, Cancer, but I feel like, and this could even be you being like, you know what? I'm just going to tell you how I feel. I'm just going to be straight up with you. This is how I feel about us. Like, where are you at? You know, and it might take that for this person to, to reciprocate here um, because they're not the type to, to say it first. This isn't the type of person to initiate conversation. Anything else for the potential outcome? Thank you. The t there's that tower again, I'm telling you. This has changed things. There's, a, there's big change here. So like expect the unexpected. This could be someone you have history with. Usually the Six of Cups and the Judgment card tell me that, that that's for sure. Um, but it doesn't have to be. This could be someone you haven't met just yet and you change their whole world up. You change everything up for them here. Like I said, what they're doing isn't working. So this is the type of person who doesn't express their emotions, who doesn't communicate, who doesn't talk, like who plays those games of like here today, gone tomorrow, or like, you know, um, meanwhile, they're very obsessed. It's not working anymore. Scorpio energy here. So you've changed this whole person's world upside down, even if they don't say so. So this could even just be that they want long term. I don't feel like they've ever wanted or pictured long term with anyone else before here, Cancer. You've changed that for them. And there is potential here. There's This is a beautiful connection, but I feel like this person lets their stuckness get in the way, lets this obstacle get in the way. This could also be you too, right? Like we we all have to overcome this in some way. This can, this can be our ego. And our ego is, is the thing that says, oh, they didn't text me. Uh, okay, fine, I'm not gonna text them then. I'm gonna wait till they message me and then days could go by before the two of you talk. The ego is the one that says, that gets hurt easily, that puts up that wall, that you know doesn't just put it, a, when you put your ego aside, it says, okay, you know what? I just wanna to talk to them. So I'm just gonna talk, right? I don't care who messaged first. I don't care who, you know, um, how long it's 
been or what have you, I just want to talk to them. If it goes well, it goes well. If it doesn't, okay, then it wasn't meant to be. That's putting the ego aside. The ego aside is also people's actions and how they treat us is not a, a, a depiction of us. It's how they feel on the inside, right? And I feel like inside this person feels very chaotic. There is potential here though. So, I mean, everyone's story is gonna be different. Everyone's journey is gonna be different. For some of you, this might be way too much. No, thank you. For others, it might be okay. I'm waiting for this breakthrough because this breakthrough is coming. How will Cancer know who this is? The Eight of Cups, someone you walked away from, someone who walked away from you, right? There could, like I said, could be a separation period right now. The star, Aquarius, and the four of swords. Like I said, someone who wants to heal this, Aquarius energy. Someone who cannot stop thinking about this. Someone who could have pulled back their energy, like I said, and who is still currently pulling back their energy because they feel like it's they need to protect themselves. They don't feel good enough for you, Cancer. But they want to heal this. Any advice for Cancer? The moon, Pisces energy, the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Wands. Stand in your power. Be confident in what you have to offer because you have so much to offer. And I feel like keep a little mystery about yourself too. If you're the one that's constantly like going after this person, talking to this person, opening up to this person, I feel like spirits like keep a little mystery about you. You know, keep them wondering a little bit about where your head's at. And it's not to play games, it's just to, you know, kind of balance out the energy here. Because if you're constantly giving, giving, giving to this person, opening up, being vulnerable, sharing your feelings with this person, which again, Cancer, I feel like you do. And this person loves that about you, but they just don't reciprocate it. And it keeps you wondering. But you do have a divine match here. I mean, they're coming through as the King of Wands and you're coming through as the Queen of Wands. The two of you together, there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of, you know, I feel like the both of you are very attractive you're, and physically and your energy, right? So stand in that power. Remember who you are. Remember how powerful you really are. Let's see if there's any messages for you here, Cancer. Well, we have the snake, competition and enemy, the other woman, look over your shoulder. So you could have felt like there was competition in some way. Um, I'll pull a card on that and see what comes out. But we have the runner, fear of intimacy, running away, intensity and letting go, turmoil and fleeting. Does that sound like this person? Because it sounds like them to me. Perhaps if you're cross watching, it could be flipped. But yeah, definitely fear of intimacy here. Wow, look at that, soulmates. Soul connection, partnership, soul contract, life partner. I'm telling you, my soulmates card came out, the lovers came out, and this is all in the potential outcome. So this is union in the potential outcome. This is a coming together. This is happiness. This is joy. And this is out of nowhere with that tower energy. Wow. There's definitely hidden messages for you here, Cancer. So let's see what those are. Messages for Cancer, please. Thank you. Rejecting you is protecting myself. I was being selfish. Right there. Yeah. So if this person walked away from you, I, like, again, I feel like there was an intimidation factor here. Thank you. This connection bores me to death. I need something more exciting. Whenever I get this card, I always like to give a friendly reminder of, oh, thank you, Spirit. Spirit's reminding me to pull a card on the snake, so I will. Um, when we're used to chaos, when we're used to fighting, when we're used to tension, not just with relationships romantically, but like with family, um, our upbringing, even friends, maybe coworkers, when we have like a very stable, loving, healthy, you know, grounded relationship, it can feel boring. It can be like, where's the chaos? Even though logically we could say that I know that that's not good for me, our brain is like literally addicted to the chemical balance, chemical imbalances, I guess we could say, um, that come with the chaos. The holistic psychologist talks a lot about this. So, um, this person could have said something like this to you, but in reality, it's like what, like this grounded, loving connection that I feel like you gave them cancer is exactly what they need. They're just not used to that, right? We go with what we're familiar with. You've become too difficult for me to handle. That's a big turnoff. 
that could either go either way, to be honest with you. I knew exactly what I was doing. I don't react when people mention you. So again, this person kind of acts very proud as well. I love you. I have many regrets that keep me from moving forward. So there's that five of cups energy, right? I feel like this even this extends beyond the two of you. I feel like what's happened between the two of you is, is big, but just in general, I am not available. So I just feel like for now, Cancer, there's just this, yeah, they're kind of, they're taking back their energy. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I feel unbalanced and uneasy. I don't know what to do to fix it. So again, I feel like there is this awareness of this blockage, this devil energy, but they, it's like, what do they do now? It's difficult for me to process my emotions. I am not available right now. So you're getting multiple cards of being not available, rejecting you as protecting myself. Um, you know, I have regrets. Emotions are not this person's forte. Um, I left when I saw you with someone. So only take what resonates. I am becoming a better person. I said one more, and then I'm going to pull on that snake card. Messages for Cancer. Any more messages for Cancer? Thank you. It's time for me to heal now. Yeah. So, like I said, the potential outcome shows a beautiful connection here, right? Who knows how long it could take to get there? That will be different for everyone. But tell me about the snake. Tell me about the snake. We have the Emperor and the King of Cups. This is so interesting. I've never gotten this before. I feel like the, the enemy is this person's own stubbornness. The enemy is that they refuse to show their love because the King of Cups loves so deeply, but I always say has trouble offering their cup of love, has trouble opening up. The Emperor is someone who's stubborn, someone who you know thinks they know exactly how to do everything all the time. It can be a very, uh, you know, um, very good leadership, right? Really great at getting things done but kind of comes off like nothing bothers them. Like I said, kind of like a robotic a little bit. But I mean, you are getting the emperor and you have the empress here. This person knows you're it, Cancer. They know that you're it. It almost feels like they're very much in their masculine energy, I just have to say. This is someone who has trouble receiving love, right? You're teaching them how to receive it. Yeah, even if they are female, again, we all have masculine, feminine energy. Could be an Aries. Let's see, messages for Cancer. Wow, right away. Traveler, move in a new direction. Okay, so again, this could be completely away from this connection. This could just be doing things differently with each other because that tower did come out and that's a huge shift. That's doing things completely differently, right? You could actually be traveling um take it as it resonates look at that we have weight and we have big happy changes wow beautiful cancer so things are changing here you have the tower twice like the, it's it is changing so if you're you know waiting for this person waiting for them to kind of understand this connection and have that wake up call. It is coming. I do see that coming. But for some of you, it's like, well, what am I waiting for? I'm going to move along. And that's okay too, right? We're all, we're all, you know, uh, on our own journey. Don't let pride get in your way. This is what I was talking about with the ego. The ego says they didn't call me. Fine. I'm not calling them. Even though it's your real feeling is I do want to talk to them. Putting that ego and that pride aside, um, I feel like will change things as well. And sometimes it's frustrating when you feel like you have to be the one that's always doing that. But if it's worth it, then it's worth it. Prosperity lies ahead, Taurus energy. So good things coming. You got big happy changes. And look at that. Be bold and make the first move. So this is what I'm saying. I feel like, and look at, expect powerful change. This is what I'm saying. Like, you might have to be the one that kind of goes after it here, that just steps up and be like, look, like let, let, we're just gonna talk about this. I just need to tell you how I feel, right? And that kind of opens 
the doors for this person to do it too. But if you're the type of person you're like, I don't want to have to always be the one that initiates conversation or opens up first or what have you. I want this person to come to me. This person doesn't feel like the type of person to do that. They're not an initiator. They're not, they're going to, I don't want to say avoid conversation because they will have the conversation with you once they do it, once it's open, but they're not going to start it. Messages for cancer. Thank you. We have flexible, number 19. So you could be seeing ones, nines, or even one plus nine is that 10 again. So a lot of completion here. Um, but let's read the message for you. 19. In every relationship, it's important to be open to new experiences and learning new things. Letting go of rigidity is what's required right now. You don't always have to be right all the time, do you? It's okay to come to a happy compromise. You can still get your needs met. It's a beautiful day when you meet halfway. The appearance of this card in a reading could also signal that you have met someone new who may not be your usual type, but who will turn out to be so special that you can easily release your old ideas about what sort of partner is right for you. Be flexible. You'll be happy you made that choice. Thank you, Spirit. So, yeah, kind of just wrapping up uh, that message here of if you want to move to a better place with this person, so do they, but they're not going to initiate it. And our ego can often get in the way and be like, well, if they're not going to initiate it, then I'm not going to initiate it. When really deep down, it's like, I just really want to be with this person, right? Um, so do what's best for you, Cancer. Sending you lots of love and light. Ask your guides and your angels for guidance. Meditate. Um, that could be helpful as well. Let's see. Okay, so these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates. Take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that this wasn't your reading. So we have J, I, N, S, G, U, C, 7, and 8. Okay, Cancer, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. Love and light.